oh, damn, this thing's kind of like, you know, poking me where I don't want to be poked. Anyways, we about to jump straight into it. You can tell by the title of the video, I'm trying to paint match my M3 bumper to my non-M car. Not trying to make a fake M3, but the M3 bumper just looks a whole lot better. So that's what we're trying to do today. Um, all this information, huge shout out to my homie Connor. He has an E30. Um, I'm gonna tag him somewhere, put a picture of his car. Huge shout out to him. He told me all the steps. I've never painted anything on a vehicle. Um, I knew that there's a preparation is key. And I kind of asked him, um, I saw on his Snapchat story literally last night, um, him painting one on his Camry. Um, I asked him like, yo, what's the steps? And he just broke it all down to me. Um, so here are some of the things you're gonna need. Super budget friendly. Basically, whole bunch of sandpaper in here. Um, 180 grit, I believe, 150 grit maybe, just to pull out all that old paint. And then uh, 400 grit and 600 grit. 600 grit, I guess, will be the very end um, when you're like sanding down your primer. So then we got this du dupli color. I think that's how you pronounce it, I don't care. Dupli color uh, fills light scratches and sands easily. Get the sandable kind because obviously we're gonna be sanding it. And then um, this is, I read this online. They're saying that this is the closest thing that you can get in a spray bottle without like giving them a paint coat or something and then them putting it into a bottle. So it is the Dupli color, perfect match. Um, it's called Galaxy Silver Metallic. Yeah, looks exactly, the cap looks like my car. So I believe it. Super important part is the clear coat. Um, they don't have it. They don't carry in um, a lot of these like parts stores. So I ordered them on Amazon, two bottles. I'm trying to keep everything, as you can tell, like I just showed, um, one bottle of each. Worst case scenario, I'll go and pick up more, but trying to keep it as bu budget as possible. We're trying to see if these cans last. Yeah, 2K clear, Amazon. I'm gonna throw up a picture and I'm gonna have the link in, to all these in the description if you need it. So. That's what it is. Almost forgot, but that's a key important part and using that specific 2K because I've heard really good things about it. All right, so obviously I got this set up pretty crazy. Um, I took a couple of clips off that I really didn't need to take off, but oh well, we learning as we're going. This is whenever you're gonna do your 180 grit. Um, I'm gonna wet sand it because I heard it's a little bit easier um, to use. Like, it's a little bit easier to take the old paint off with the wet sand. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get started. Update. This is what the bumper is looking like. Um, I've just fully gone through the whole pack of 160, 180 grit. I forgot. Um, I definitely need to go get another pack because it's not done. Um, there's still certain spots that I couldn't get it with the electrical sander just because there were curves and I kind of don't want to like, obviously I'm not worried about burning through the paint, but I am worried about going like too deep to the point where it's going to leave like I don't know, like an indent or something. So I want to do those like tricky spots by hand. But I don't know if I went through this whole pack super fast because it was electric. But I think that the goal 
was definitely to get it to this point because I think this is the primer under the black. But like, it was so hard to get to this. But I, I did this part right here by hand and we got to it pretty easily. Um, so I mean, I've got a couple tiny pieces. You can see all those pieces, but I got a couple tiny pieces that um, I might try to still hit it by hand. But yeah, definitely take your time with this prepping because I heard this is the most important part to make sure your paint comes out good. So, um, I might spend today and tomorrow on this, but I'm enjoying the process. All right, so bumper's done, um, being sanded. Um, I think it's enough. We will find out with the end result, but um, if I can give one pro tip, wet sanding is not as effective as dry sanding. I don't know why I tried wet sanding. Um, if you guys want to roast me in the comments for that, go ahead. Ready to lay some primer on this thing. The garage is a little bit like dirty, messy, and I'm not going to go the full extent of putting up like plastic to make a, like a booth. So um, I'm not going to expect this paint job to be perfect. I'm not going to expect to not see some trash in the paint. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. It's raining. I'm back in the booth, I guess. Um, this thing's kind of been a pain with the whole prep thing. Um, I think it was mainly my fault because I think I should have taken a little bit longer to try and get some of that paint off. Um, I think it shouldn't really be a problem if it's like lighter, but I've had to, I got it down pretty okay. Like where it was really rough, like now it's smooth. It's smooth to the touch, but some of these spots like look different. Um, they've got different shading and literally like from Sandy I was going as light as I can but it like kind of took off that primer maybe I should have used like 800 or maybe a thousand um, maybe 800 instead of 600 but nonetheless I'm just gonna go ahead and put color on it might not end up being the best decision it's not gonna come out perfect but we're gonna hope for the best I painted these just to kind of like you know try to see how it works and it came out pretty good um, I don't know if you guys can tell in that light that 2k clear like my buddy Connor told me it this thing is absolutely amazing so like it definitely helps I have one of them in the car right now but yeah on that side the fog light covers on um, but yeah yeah let's hope for the best something else that I ended up going and getting is this um, wax and tar remover. Wax and tar remover and then a tack cloth.
All right, this is what we got. Um, after a couple more coats, all that stuff went away. Is my lens fogging up, dude? So now it looks good. All looks even, except for a little, little bit of rough spots. But we're gonna move on to the clear coat step. God, dude, why is this? Now I'm gonna get some water and uh, lay down some water on here. Clear coat scares the absolute crap out of me because it just doesn't look good like right when you apply it but like three coats in it looks good all right so from the video that I've been watching they said the second coat we're gonna do a whole lot wetter um, and that just I guess means slower um, so yeah I'm gonna do that now wait about 10 minutes in between each coat and then um, I'm probably gonna wait like 30 minutes um, after this coat we are gonna flip it and then do that little under bottom side. I'm excited. inside trim thing on the passenger side it's a whole lot bigger and there's only three screws for the driver's side and now you just we got to do the uh, four big bolts I think in the back of the inside the trunk remove all the trim okay so in here um, there's a bolt missing there Wait, you're gonna wanna take that out, and then the one there, and one more on the other side. guys so um yeah that's pretty much it I try to show you guys especially in the lighting that I'm getting here I should try to get some shots where I show the imperfections I'm not trying to hide this trying to make it seem like it's way better than it is I think it's pretty bad um, especially in this lighting it's pretty bad um, I'm not even gonna hold you but like I said we learned a lot I'm gonna end up doing this quarter the roof and the hood um, so I'm glad that I learned um, on this if I have to do it again I probably won't take the bumper off of the car um, I'll probably do it on the car I mean I'm happy with it for the time being it looks a whole lot better than the other bumper like for real um, it really like ties in especially with the drag wing like it helps you know like look like the back is more busy or whatnot but um yeah if you guys enjoyed this don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you got any questions on uh, anything that wasn't like clear enough um, don't forget like you know just comment down below if you got any questions cuz I'm like I like to think I'm really good about answering everything um, and I you know I like talking to you guys in the comments so all right at this point I'm just rambling 
I'm gonna end the video here. Hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend or week whenever you're watching this. Ciao. You know, you know, you know, you know. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on go. You know, you know, you know, you know. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on go. My rest don't fall. My wrist froze. My wits too cold. My merch getting sold. Burning rubber while I'm burning through racks. Driving the streets like I drive on a jacks.